future holds But I know you hold the future I don't know where you're leading me But I want you to so I'm hanging on So I don't know what the future holds. Whoa! I wrote this when I must have been about 28. So we're talking at least Oh about half a lifetime ago. Um and at that point I was Yeah, I was single desperate to get married, wanted children, I was a teacher, I was teaching other people's children and thinking I could do a better job at parenting. I now realised that was very naive, however. But I just knew that I wanted God on that journey with me because I didn't know what the future held and I wanted him to be there with me. And I wanted to encourage other people to read God's word so that they could be fully equipped for the road ahead. Now, my road ahead has not been the one that I expected. I had prayed for a lovely Christian husband. God did answer that prayer, but not when I expected. That was about five years ago now, which is wonderful. Thank you. In the meantime, I've had two failed one failed marriage, another failed relationship, two gorgeous children from each of those relationships, and then a journey of divorce and heartache and separation. Also during that time I've had to deal with losing both parents, one to heart disease and the other to dementia. And the combination of all those things, oh losing my job, along with losing my home, so no, I wasn't expecting to go on that journey. It, I, you know, if I thought that becoming a Christian was going to be a key to a lovely, happy, successful life, well, I can look back and tell you, no, that wasn't how it worked out. But successful? That's down to how we look at it, how we assess it. God's been there with me all along. He's been there holding my hand. Sometimes he's been shouting at me and I haven't wanted to hear. Sometimes it's been a quiet whisper. And sometimes it's been making me find joy when I'm off work with a nervous breakdown with everything I've been going through. But at that point, the joy of the Lord is your strength. That spoke greens to me. And now we're going through coronavirus. And I can't help thinking, let's look at the joy. Let's look for the joy in this situation. The positive things we can get out of this. We don't know what the future holds, but we do know who holds the future. And it is not President Trump. Oops, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. We know it's God. We know it's our Heavenly Father. He knows what's ahead. He knows how to guide us through what we're going to have to go through. So I urge you, open your Bible, read the, the user manual, spend time, press into God, and listen to that small, quiet voice, that little inkling, that thing that, those ideas that keep you awake at night. Because I don't know what the future holds, but I know you hold. I know